What's going on Fallen Family? We're back at it and today we're opening up some Brilliant Stars Blister Packs. Now it's my first time opening this set, but I've already got my eye set on two targets. That Charizard alternate art and that Honchkrow alternate art. Now let's see if we're able to pull one of those two today. Alright guys, we're going to jump on in and we're going to start with this first pack right here. This Shaman artwork. Looks nice. Now I said it's my first time opening a Brilliant Stars um, set. So, I know there's a trainer gallery just like there was in Astral Radiance, and we start off with the V Star marker card, so we're not even going to guess. Fracture, Team Yell, Marnie's Pride, a Baltoy, Snow Runt, Nose Pass, the Denny, Cub Chew, Star Raptor, and a non hollow Wormadam Rare. Alright, now because I can't open a pack, I had to use scissors, but. Here we go. So, the Haunch Crow by far is my favorite one. Um, there are some more like colorful artworks and some that are a little bit more detailed, but I just really like, I guess, the scenery for the Haunch Crow of Burmy, an Impidimp, Staryu, Shroomish, and a non hollow Escavalier. So, it's not looking good right now. We're 0 for 2 on any, which is really surprising. Seeing as this has a, a trainer gallery set, you would have thought we'd get something by now. Co card for you guys that use it. And we're ready with the one, two, three. Vibrova, Starva Staravia, Monferno, a Magmar, Riolu, a Burmy, Staryu, Carablast, a Reverse Hollow, Friend in Galar, and at least this one's a Hollow, a Hollow Torterra. But we have not pulled any ultra rares yet. So we're gonna do this, this Arceus artwork there. Yeah, because I know there was a couple. I mean, this set, like, I was looking on a TCG player. I mean, the, the most valuable right now for these sets are gonna be the Charizard and Arceus cards. Those are gonna be your heavy hitters the Rainbow Rare Charizard, the Ultimate Art Charizard Float Cell, Cleaning Glow. Gentino, Magmar, Spiritomb, Burmy, Impidimp, Astaryu, Probopass, and we get a more Peko V. Our first Ultra Rare is going to be a more Peko V. It's not bad. We'll go ahead and sleeve it. Put it up there in the corner as always. So, um,. Those who have more experience with this set have opened the set. In the comments down below, go ahead and let me know which which artwork you think looks the best. Which one's your favorite? There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and guess water, fire, fairy, blunder policy, torkoal, throw, shroomish, hiplup. Turtwig, Sneasel. Oh, that's. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is a trainer gallery. Look at that. The Zekrom trainer gallery. And behind it, followed up by a Garchomp Hollow, but. That is nice artwork there. Look at that. Yeah, so. This being my first, my first time with the. Uh, the brilliant star set I'm gonna go ahead and just admire some artwork a little bit more um, I hope you guys don't mind uh, doing that it just I'd hate to like skip over and especially if you know you guys watching if you guys haven't seen any of these cards you guys can experience that with me we're gonna go water electric hit on top ultra ball Kindler a nursery Shinx, Impidimp, Golit, Castform, Pachuritsu, and a non hollow Luxray. Let's go. So, I believe today we have about 15 booster packs to go through. So, hopefully, we're able to get some. We already got a trainer gallery and a ultra rare regular V card. So, not to the water. Electric again, Marnie's Pride, Team Yell's Cheer, Fracture, Trapinch, 
Execute, yeah, Execute, Starly, Shroomish, Piplup, Magmar, and Hollow Bosses Order. I thought it was another non hollow for a second. I gonna say our luck has really run out, huh? But us, so, so far, between opening the Astral Radiance and the Pokemon Go, and the little bit of evolving skies we did the last video, Leaf, Collapse, Crodon, oh, Astral Radiance is definitely the better suited set right now for me. I did have fun. Oh, look at that. Another Trainer Gallery. Look at that, Ace Rolla's Premonition. That's really nice, look at that art. And followed up by a non hollow Wormadam. Okay, so we got two trainer galleries. So this is just gonna be a trainer gallery opening. Let's see if we're able to get one or two more. Oh, this one seems like it's gonna be, oh, there we go. code card for you guys and we're gonna go water let's go all right we have to get something now we have to get a good one now for getting it electabuzz chimeco gibble a turd twig Pinch. another trainer gallery an octillery just look at the artwork on these followed up by another non hollow it seems like anytime we get the trainer gallery in this set you just pretty much expect nothing behind it. Three trainer galleries. Now I didn't go through all the cards in the set just because I do enjoy the surprise a little bit. So forgive the sort of lack of knowledge on these. I'll kind of dig more into it now that we've already opened the set. Um, just so I can talk more about it. Fighting energy. Roseanne's Backup, a Fracture, a Bear Tick, Axew, Impidimp, Magmar, Riolu, Fermi, Marnie's Pride, and a Haunch Crow V. Look at that. Now we wanted the alternate art, but I'll take the Haunch Crow V. Could this be a sign for something? Could this be the sign? Put it down right there. Let's get into it. And and as always, guys, I'm gonna you know do a little reminder too towards the end of the video. But down in the comments below, if you have made it this far, just go ahead, Metal Energy Dust Clops, and just in the comments, just let me know things I need to improve on. I'm I want to share my experiences with you, but I also want to make it the most entertaining I can while doing that for you. And a non hollow Clefable. Nothing really good right now. Yeah, because I mean, what good is sharing the experiences if you guys aren't going to enjoy it as well? You know what I'm saying? So, if there's things that you want me to try getting, now obviously I'm not, I can't get like any base set packs or, you know, very vintage packs, but there are things that I can buy. So, and get my hand on so we can experience them together. Sneasel, Corefish, and another trainer gallery. Alchemy, look at that. And as always, a non hollow muck. Look at that. I thought they were like having dinner. Oh, I guess they are. They're sitting at a table and she's got like a cupcake or something. Alright, so we're down to about our final three. Right now we're rocking four trainer gallery cards out of how many are there? 30, I think. So, this has been mm, electric. Oh, grass. Clang, a berry, a grotto. This has been just trainer gallery overshadowing. A Grimer, Clefairy, Bidoof, Starmie. And a non hollow Electivire. I don't know. Are the pulls in here just. For some, we did get these all out of blister packs. So. Usually the blister packs have been pretty good. I can't complain though, because. 
14 packs and we got six hits so it's not terrible but not exactly what we're looking for here psychic grotto double energy torco mancino a ball toy snow runt nose pass a milkery and another trainer gallery card a dendeni look at that and oh at least this one's a hollow hollow dust norn look at that is a very colorful artwork card okay so this is our last pack it's a charizard pack artwork so hopefully we pull it what i mean obviously the odds are very low of that happening but it's good to be optimistic sometimes code card for you guys so last pack magic we're we're 0 for 7 as of the last video so here we go we're gonna try and we're gonna go grass okay last pack magic guess it guessing the energy was correct a starmy gloria golet cast form chimchar ball toy axiu reverse hollow electivire and 0 for 8 <laughs> in alchemy thank you guys for watching the video if you did enjoy it go ahead and leave a like subscribe for more awesome content and i'll see you in the next one